Okay, estimating with fractions is when we benchmark zero, one half, and one whole. Uh, remember the notes today for descriptions. When the numerator is very small when compared to a denominator, let's say, for instance, an example of one tenth, we would benchmark this to be approximately zero. If a fraction is going to be benchmarked to one half, the numerator is about or very close to one half of the denominator. For example, four ninths. We know four is not exactly half of nine, but it's very close. Therefore, four ninths would benchmark or be approximate one half. Description for a benchmark of one whole is when the numerator and the denominator are very close to each other. For example, eight ninths. The eight is very close to the nine, therefore it would benchmark to one whole. Okay, some of the homework problems. We went through lesson 6-1. The first 10 we did in class. We'll start with number 11 and I'll do a few of these for you. Number 11 is 9 and 7 eighths. And remember, we're not benchmarking the whole number. It just stays there. We may end up adding to it, but we have to see. 7 eighths follows the description of when the numerator and denominator are close to each other. Therefore, we would benchmark this fraction seven eighths as one whole. If we combine the one with the nine, nine and seven eighths is approximately ten. Number twelve, four and three eighths. The fractional part three eighths fits the description when the numerator is about or close to one half of the denominator. In this case, four would actually be a half, but three is very close. So the three eighths would benchmark to a half. So four and three eighths is approximately four and one half when using estimation with fractions and mixed numbers. Number 13, eight and six sevenths. Six sevenths fits the description of when the numerator and denominator are very close to each other. So we would benchmark six sevenths at one whole. When we combine this with the number eight, we already have eight and six sevenths is approximately nine when estimating with fractions. Okay, you can finish uh, numbers 14 through 28. On 25, 26, 27, and 28, it says to round up or down. Just find the benchmark of the mixed number that's already there. That should be fine. Don't forget, you've got some problems uh, 1 through 6 on the back of the sheet that were copied down in class. Make sure we do those also. I'll go, go ahead and do the first two of those with you. This is on the back of 6-1. We copied these in class. Number one was 5 thirteenths plus 4 fifths. Now, 5 thirteenths benchmark is very close to a half. Where does that come from? Well, six and a half is actually half of 13, but that's very close. So we benchmark it to one half when estimating. Plus four over 25. Remember the description that describes that one. The numerator is very small when compared to the denominator, so we benchmark this to a zero. When we add one half and zero, we get one half. Number two, 17 nineteenths minus 2 thirteenths. 
1719, so that fits the description of when the numerator and denominator are close to each other. So we would benchmark that to be one whole. Minus two thirteenths, that fits the description when the numerator is very small compared to the denominator. We benchmark that at zero. So one minus zero is one. Okay, you've got uh, three, four, five, and six. I'll write the problems down in case you've lost or didn't get them in class, but I won't solve. Number three is 70 over 85 plus 25 over 51. Number four, 11 20 minus fifteenths. Number five, nine sixteenths minus eighteen thirty sevenths. Number six, five sixteenths plus Now remember, if you have any problems with any of that, just go back to your notes and just read back through it. It should help you as far as benchmarking anything.